Vice President Kamala Harris hit the ground running with the launch of her 2024 presidential campaign on Sunday. Campaign officials and allies made hundreds of calls on her behalf soon after President Joe Biden said he was pulling out of the race. They urged delegates to nominate her for president at next month's Democratic Party convention, and Harris pledged to unite the nation in her bid against Republican nominee Donald Trump. Biden said he would remain in the presidency until his term ends in January next year, while endorsing Harris to run for president in his place. It leaves his replacement with less than four months to wage a campaign before the November election. By late Sunday, Harris had already locked in the support of all the Democrats' state party chairs, according to several on a conference call. Her prospects in November are less clear. Shortly after Biden's announcement, Trump told CNN, quote, Harris will be easier to beat than Joe Biden would have been. However, polling immediately after last week's assassination attempt against Trump showed that Harris performs no better or worse statistically than Biden had done against the GOP nominee. Still, senior fellow at the Brookings Institute Daryl M. West thinks the shakeup will help the Democrats catch up in key swing states. The polls have actually been moving in favor of Donald Trump over the last few weeks. I think her likely nomination will put Democrats in a strong position. She will be very competitive in those crucial Midwestern states, uh, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And I think she also will put some of those other swing states that have started to slip away, uh, places like Arizona, back in very strong contention for Democrats. Several prominent Democrats, including potential Harris challengers such as California Governor Gavin Newsom, immediately backed the vice president. Despite that early show of support, a handful of the party's biggest names, including former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and former President Barack Obama, both praised Biden's decision but did not announce endorsements. Two other potential challengers, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear, made no mention of the vice president in their statements.